Um, okay, Ark went through a few changes. And hello everybody, it is I, Lightning Bliss, and I am back with another uh, Let's Play of Ark because this was requested by GameAct3. Now he specifically wanted me to do something very, very goal oriented, and that is to capture a T-Rex, paint it rainbow colored, and then name it Twink. Of course! Well then, that is quite the hefty load, so I really had to go into overtime to do some preparation. Now as you can see, I did actually enable um, creative mode for this game, because at this point, uh, I am no longer interested in playing the game itself, I just want to have fun and tame dinosaurs and run around and try to survive, and, and if I almost die, then haha, I can activate creative mode. This is basically Minecraft on steroids for me at this point. Everybody got that? So, yes, as you can see, I got all the equipment I need for painting a dino. I have a tranquilizer gun at the ready and a paintbrush. Now, which steed should I go for? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do have a lot of steeds to choose from. I bet some of you are wondering, holy cow, when did this suddenly happen? Well, like I said, I've been in creative mode and I got really bored really fast with just regular dinosaurs. I also found out they have a unicorn in the game, which I got. Named you, Rainbow Bright, but honestly, I think I'm gonna name you Starlight so I can- Because I'm gonna color your mane and tail rainbow colored. In fact, let's just do that now. Let's name you Starlight. Starlight. Yes, Starlight. I also have a griffin over here named Kit. Kit, the name Kit is based off a, an actual griffin from a book I really love called The Dark Lord of Durkham. Oh, Kit needs to be upgraded. Now, Kit is probably one of the strongest uh, steeds I really have in this game, who's extremely fast and agile and can really take on a lot of stuff. Starlight, not so much, but is a, fast, is a decent runner and jumper. Oh yes, I have a phoenix over there as well. Guess who I- guess what I named it. Get on with it! Yeah, get on with it! Yes, yes get, get on, on with it! it. <laughs> a fitting name, don't you think, Goldilocks? But yes, this is also my wyvern or dragon, but I think he's more of a wyvern. Uh, Snowdrop, because he is an ice wyvern. And apparently he needs an upgrade too. Snowdrop even a male or a female? I forgot. Ah, uh, you are a boy. Okay, Snowdrop. He's just such a good boy, Snowdrop. I think I ought to paint you too, but I'm just not sure yet. I'm tempted to name you Tarak, though. <laughs> so, yes, apparently Game Act 3 wants me to go out and find a T-Rex and na label him Twink. <laughs> now it's just a question, do I want to risk myself and my unicorn to go out and find a T-Rex? Or shall I do this from the air with my trusty, handy-dandy tranquilizer gun and do it from the air? Which would probably be smarter, but I know you guys would like to see an actual fight happen. Well, I think for the sake of safety and because I don't want to die and then lose all of my die in the process, I think we'll take the safety route and we will take Kit. Oh, come on! Oddly. So yes, without further ado, we're just gonna, we're gonna get a running start, and then take off. Off to find a T-Rex. I did at one point see a T-Rex around here somewhere, but as you can see, I'm in a really dangerous part of Ark, I've discovered lately. I wanted to build a cabin out in the snow in the Arctic, but when you come out here, be prepared to deal with a lot of hazards. Because apparently these are really dangerous animals out here. The, those That was a pack of giant wolves. Hi, Dr. Wolf. <laughs> oh, I think I might have found a couple of T-Rexes here. Whoa! Up, kit! Up, kit! Up, kit! Whoa, that was close. I did not want to take on two of them. It just may be that I'm gonna have to just guess which one has the highest point radius and then pick one to be Twink. There's a black and red one under there. Ooh, super edgy. Alright, there's a good shot. Easy, Kit! Well, at least he's standing there for me, so that's good. 
man, these these guys take a while to go down. Deja vu. I just been in this place before. Higher on the street, and I know it's my time to go. Calling you and the searches of Darn it. Blasted. He's making a run for it. I am impressed by this guy's stamina. <clears throat> Oh, and he is down. Alrighty, this is good. This means we're gonna we're gonna have to take out this other guy. I have you now. All right, Kit, let's kit him. Take out this guy first. Kit can do a very special attack, by the way. It is a dive bomb. Let's see if he can do it. And that was a mistake! You lose! Enable creative mode. Yes, please. What? I survived the fall, because I am not gonna die over this T-Rex. Ah, boy. I guess... Kit's not gonna hear me very well. Kit, come on, man! Kit! Where are you? Oh. Okay, uh, okay, guys. Apparently, my Griffin abandoned me. was a humongous ginormous failure and I am very disappointed with myself. Kit, you left me high and dry. You bad Griffin. That or I am just a terrible, terrible Griffin owner. Either way, that kind of sucked and I hate that I have to do it sometimes, but what can you do? Oh boy. I need to make sure he's still unconscious. Uh oh. Thank you. Thank you, Kit. Ah, oh, boy. See, this is why I need stage to protect me. I need to keep this guy under wraps, though. A few moments later. Now what? <coughs> oh, great. Kit killed my T-Rex. Killed? Kit, why? Why, Kit? Why? Why Why you had to do this to me, man? Why? You, you killed... The T-Rex. Why? I am quite annoyed, people. I had great luck finding not one, but two T-Rexes in one area, and now my griffin had killed them both. How super annoying. It's extremely, extremely annoying. And unfortunately, guys, that means if I am going to have any luck taking on this goal. I'm gonna have to stay in creative mode because I don't want to lose all my efforts and die again. But yeah, as you can see, there is another really big creature over there that he basically controls all creatures that are surrounding him. Or he controls some of the bigger carnivores or what have you. As long as he stays over there though, I'm good. But unfortunately, he is not a T-Rex. So we're gonna have to find some T-Rexes. 20 minutes later. I believe we struck gold. So. Just for safety. I'm going to put Kit down here. Nope. Land, bud. Land. I'm going to order him to stay here. And I know that's a risk. Oh boy. 
Come on, come on. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Now, now, right now. Let's go, go, go. Let's go. Hey. Start the engine. Get up, kid. Get up. Oh, that was that was close. That was close. Ooh, that was a little too close. Okay, as I was, I was trying to say. I'm gonna order him to stay put, and then I'm gonna go see if I can't fight this T-Rex. He's currently distracted right now, which is good. A few moments later. Hi, buddy. What's up? Oh boy. How big are you anyway? <laughs> this is fun. I think he's running. Oh, are you running? No, there's no running. Come back here. And he is down. Hallelujah. We got us a T-Rex, guys. And hopefully nobody will be messing with us. And it's a female. Well, it's not a male, but still it counts. We're gonna name you Twink when you get up. How long do we get to 100%? Well then, this is probably gonna take about 22 to 23 minutes, guys. <laughs> I will. I will come back when that has been accomplished, I guess. 20 minutes later. Well, folks, this is was this took more than 20 minutes. This took a whole day and a night, and now it is early late morning. T-Rex is still unconscious, but she is close to being tamed. Good gosh. Game Act 3, you better be happy with the results. Because this took more time than I would have wanted it to. It's tedious to tame a T-Rex, guys. Even if I am in a creative mode. <laughs> Alright. Alright, princess. Rise and shine. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on! Come on! Watch, as soon as I jump on her back, she's gonna wake up. Pfft. Won't that be funny? Be a nice jump scare, then, when she does wake up. Should happen any second now. Any second now. Any second now! Re Finally! Finally! Looks like we're gonna name you Twink, even if you are a girl. I don't care. Your name is Twink. Because Patreon said so. About bloody time! <sighs> Alright, let's get a saddle on ya. And now we're gonna have to find a way to paint her! So, we're gonna paint her, and we're gonna paint her Twink style. Well, I have never done this before, so I hope I know what I'm doing. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, I didn't want to paint me, I wanted to paint you. Okay, how do we paint you? Oh, left style, okay. Control to erase. Oh, this is how we move them around. Okay. Well, um, okay, here we go. Okay, we're painting her, guys. Nice. <laughs> this is.
we're done, guys. So I'm think uh I think we need to give Twink here a full <laughs> Wow. Okay. Um well, there's Twink, guys. <laughs> Kind of choppy on the paint job, but I, I could give that a fix here and there. But overall, holy cow, um, Twink never looked better, I guess. Oh gosh, that's amazing. Well, can't think of a better way to end Pride Month, even though it's a little late, than to have a rainbow T Rex on my team. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, and apologies for the paint job. Is that the most perfect paint job in the world? But, hey, it gets the point across. <laughs> so, until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it really, really does help my channel and with, with thing, how things have been going on lately throughout the world, I could really use the support. So be sure to check out my comment section, share and like this video, and if you really want to help me out, check out my Patreon. So until then, guys, keep an eye out for those rainbows. They will make you smile. And this is another shout out for all of my Patreons that supported me back in June of 2020. A really big thank you and shout out goes out to Science Steel Rail, Game Act 3, Night Mist, Zion Craze, Rasputin Lennon, Thomas Fan 2751, Kinsu of Dragons, Eighth Flame, Joshua A. Sterrett, Ripple Effect MLP, Color Scales, Josh Scorcher, Twilight Sparkle Fan, Walker Ironheart, Peter Scholl, Luigi Man 87, Lycan, Gerog 1989, Thundernote, Misty Phantom, Eyal Wolf 01, Rector Akor, and Edwin Roman Floors. Again, guys, thank you so, so much for all your support, especially during these really difficult times. And to all you viewers who wish to support me and my content, be sure to check out my Patreon channel as well if you want a shout out. Thanks again, and keep an eye out for those rainbows. They will make you smile.